Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and I am back with a First Contact Entertainment news video. Now, this video includes news about both Firewall Zero Hour and the studio's upcoming new title Solaris Off World Combat. So let's jump right in starting with Solaris. Now we already know that Solaris was being worked on by First Contact Entertainment as they revealed it during Upload Viewers E3 Viewer Showcase. But really all we saw was a logo back then, we didn't know much about us at all other than it was coming to PC VR. However, at the time their website did show a PS VR logo too, so it seemed that we would be getting this on PlayStation as well. Well just yesterday First Contact Entertainment teamed up with UploadVR.com once again to lift the lid on Solaris and give us lots of new details. The following details come from David Jagno of UploadVR.com and there will be a link in the description to that article if you want to check it out yourself. I'll go over the bullet points. So First Contact Entertainment have revealed the first proper trailer for Solaris. It's short and it shows CG graphics instead of actual gameplay but it'll give you an idea of what to expect when the game does release. And speaking of release, it will be coming to Oculus Quest and Rift sometime in 2020, and those two platforms will have cross-play with each other. PSVR owners, on the other hand, will have to wait until sometime later in 2020 to get their hands on the game, and it's also worth mentioning that the PSVR version will have separate servers, so there will not be crossplay with the PC versions. So what do you actually do in Solaris Off World Combat? Well Solaris will be a strictly online only game, so don't even expect the solo mode that we have in Firewall being translated somehow into Solaris. The game will however be team based 4 versus 4, which will sound familiar to all of us who play the Firewall of course, but it sounds like the game will be much more faster paced than Firewall is, so it should feel very different. Of course, it's also evident that it has a very futuristic aesthetic going on, so that's pretty different to the more grounded and realistic vibe that Firewall Zero Hour has. The setting of Solaris is that you're in control of a skilled VR combatant, so it's like VR within VR and it's like an arena combat thing which is a sport within this game's fictional universe. Solaris will only have one mode, at least at launch anyway, called Control Point. Basically a point will spawn on the map, you have to gain control of that point with your team and you'll, you'll earn points as you're in control of us and then after a few minutes a new point will spawn somewhere else on the map and you have to repeat whoever has the most points at the end of the round wins. So that's pretty straightforward stuff, you don't even have to worry about access points like we do in Firewall. The game's also going to feature customization in the form of customizing the character's helmets and per perhaps that means the HUD will differ depending on the helmets and stuff like that, I'm not 100% on that. And there are a couple of huge points here that I wanted to save until the end. So the first thing that you should know about Solaris is that it will have a separate development team working on us so that it won't interfere with the continued development of Firewall Zero Hour. So if you're one of the people who are worried about Firewall suffering because of Solaris, you can maybe take comfort in that. And plus we're pretty much getting big content drops with Firewall every six weeks despite Solaris being in development presumably for the last few months. So that's kind of like the proof in the pudding right there if you needed it. Now the second point I want to mention is that Solaris is going to launch with dedicated servers. I suspect this is going to ruffle some feathers, or already has. Uh, so dedicated servers obviously being like the biggest complaint with Firewall Zero Hour since day one is that it just doesn't have dedicated servers and of course that's led to the frustration of being disconnected from a host and being kicked all the way back to the main menu. However, before we light up our torches and get them pitchforks out, let's look at a comment over here from Hess Barber himself. Now, I want to just thank Tradition, firstly, he gave me the heads up about this comment, would never have seen it otherwise. So, without parole, who you may know as another PSV or YouTube channel, they're probably like the biggest one around now, or up there at least tied with PSV or Frank, I'd say. Now, they recently made a video on their channel where they made a list of the top 5 PSV or AIM controller games, and of course, Firewall made it to number one on that list, obviously, and has posted his thanks in the comments, and he stated that there was a lot more to come, and most importantly, he said that huge matchmaking improvements are on the way. 
Now he also states that that massive news was coming for next year, but I'm assuming that he's referring to Solaris there because it was a week ago and Solaris hadn't been properly revealed like it was yesterday yet. So I'm assuming that's what that hint was for. But yeah, the part that got me moist was that there's going to be huge improvements coming to matchmaking. Music to all our ears, I'm sure. Now could it be that while they're getting dedicated servers for Solaris that they'll also be adding them in to Firewall Zero Hour? Or could it be some kind of technical wizardry that will improve on what we have currently somehow? I mean, it's exciting for him to state that, you know, after all this time where they they've been kind of coy about us and now he's actually coming out and he's stating that there's going to be huge improvements to matchmaking so that's very exciting you know i think so let me know in the comments what you think about all this do you think we're getting dedicated servers for firewall finally uh what do you think about solaris are you excited for solaris are you like nah it's not your style maybe it's too futuristic for you maybe you prefer the grounded type or maybe you're someone who doesn't like firewall but you're actually interested in solaris or whatever let me know in the comments below so that's it for this video lads and ladies, before I go let me give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters for their continued support in helping me make this channel a better place to visit and let me give a particular mention to Pete Hawkins, Columbus Thomas III and Crumb for their generosity for pledging at the highest tier over on my Patreon so thank you very much lads, I really do appreciate that, I appreciate all of you of course but uh, yeah, thank you so much. If you'd like to join my Patreon too to help make this channel better faster, then I'll have a link to that in the description. But if you don't want to do any of that, you can still help me out the old-fashioned way by liking, commenting, sharing the video. All that stuff really helps me out a lot and I appreciate it very much. You know, all that usual shite. That's it, lads and ladies. Thank you for watching and please stay moist.